this is Eddie Silva for the St. Louis Symphony blog. You'll see that uh, people are still milling about and just finally last moment of taking their seats. And in just a bit, uh, Gilbert Vargo will be taking the stage and leading the rehearsal this morning in Dvorak Symphony No. 8. As you just saw, we just uh, completed a vigorous finale to the Dvorak 8 rehearsal. Um, people are on their way for a small break. I'm here with uh, resident conductor Ward Sayre, and Ward is serving as cover conductor for Gilbert Varga this week. Um, Ward, tell us what the cover conductor's con duties are. Well, um, a cover conductor is responsible, number one, for learning all the repertoire in a concert in the event that something were to happen to the conductor and uh, the cover were asked to step in short notice. Uh, and also I come to all the rehearsals and I watch uh, what the maestro is doing so that I'm aware you know, of, of the different things that make his interpretation individual that he's worked on all week with the orchestra. So if I had to go in, you know, I would be aware of what the orchestra is sort of expecting. And also I serve as a second uh, set of ears for the conductor in the hall so he can turn around and ask me if he wants, you know, how the music is actually sounding in the hall. And sometimes the conductor will even ask the cover to come up on stage and conduct the orchestra while he or she goes out in the hall to listen. So you sort of have to be ready for, for anything to hear the cover. And tell us something wonderful about the Dvorak Symphony Number no. 8. Just one thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, um, Dvorak, Dvorak is one of my favorite composers in the first place. And of course, we all know the Ninth Symphony of his, The New World, very well. But I think the eighth is just every bit as wonderful. I mean, it's full of beauty and light. And it was written at a time, you know, in the late uh, 19th century, the 1880s. And, you know, we're talking about the height of, of the Romantic era. We're talking, you know, post-Wagner. We're talking the big, heavy Tchaikovsky symphonies, Rachmaninoff, et cetera, et cetera. And this eighth symphony of Dvorak's is pure light and joy. And it's really a wonderful, wonderful piece on any program. And uh, Maestro Varga brings a, a real sense of direction and drive to his conducting, and I think it's well-suited for this piece. It makes it very exciting. Well, thank you very much, Ward. My pleasure.